Hi, name is Darshan. Okay, let's welcome back to OET reading. Ah, direct matter. No time waste. We'll move on to OET reading. Who doesn't like reading? Nobody likes reading. Ah, uh, it's stamina draining. You can't figure out the answers within the time limit. If you are in that stage, yeah, yeah. here are the some of the tips which might help you. Okay, let's move on to OET reading. In OET reading, you are going to get 60 minutes of time and you are going to face 42 questions, 20 questions in the part A and the part B contains 6 questions and part C is having 16 questions. In part A, you are going to face 20 questions in which you are going to read expeditious reading. Expeditious reading means you are going to read with speed and efficiency. You are going to read it faster and you are going to get the correct answer. Not just reading faster and going on to the next question. Not that way. OET reading part A. You are going to write 20 questions type which comes in the math the following or short answers or in sentence completion. In the part A you are going to get 4 text on a single healthcare topic. Text A, text B, text C and text D. 20 questions matching the answers between the text A, B, C and D and next type of answers are short answers and another type of answers are sentence completion. You are going to get 15 minutes of time to answer these 20 questions. The first question is procedures for delivering pain relief. So you are going to match in which the text is coming from 8 to 14 you are going to write short answers it, it can be one word or two words it maximum it can't maximize more than three words and next 15 to 20 questions are coming from sentence completion there will be question and there will be fill in the blanks you need to search that word where uh, in which line it is coming from and you need to copy this exact word and write there no spelling mistake is not acceptable not even a single percent you are not going to get a single chance to <coughs> get passed by doing spelling mistake you need to just copy exactly from the text to the answers and what are the test tips for part a do the questions in order try to do it from order wise question number one to twenty do not get skip between it. it will confuse you and it will make your time waste and second test tips are copy exactly from the text no spelling mistakes no different words no your own creative words no and keep your answer short as i said the answers will be within three words so don't try to write complete sentences they are not going to give you extra marks for that okay just exact word exact answers one point or zero point there will be no half marks so try to get that full marks one point and write clearly even though you are writing the answers and if it is not legible and they can't understand the word you are going to lose the marks do you want that no just single word take your time write it eligibly so legibly and manage your time within 15 minutes you need to complete those 20 questions it will be stressful so whenever you are practicing and preparation recommendation for part a reading practice skimming text skimming means you need to uh, for example if you are having text a you are not going to read full answer when you got, got the paper don't read all the text it will waste your time skimming means just read the heading subheadings main main points so next go, go to the next text so you will be having idea if you are going to see the question and you can get oh this is coming from this text because you you have already read the heading subheadings so you will easily get the answers so don't waste time trying to read each and every words and try to understand you are not going to answer you just want to find the answer you're not going to memorize everything and write an essay no it's not the case and practice scanning scanning is skimming you know the words adding subheadings so you get the basic understanding of the text a or b 
and scanning is you, you need to scan like a computer like you need to find a word you need to keep scanning the word where is that word uh, coming from this text so usually what we do we try to read it from left to right it is going to waste your time this is what uh, i used to do is i used to scan from top to down or from backwards so if you are trying to scan from top to down in this horizontal vertical way you will get the word you can scan that word which you are looking for you will get very easily in comparing to reading left to right so if you are going to read left to right it will take you costs you 2 to 3 more seconds extra so even single second matters when you are preparing and start slow if you are a beginner if you don't have any uh, practice on re uh, practicing reading part a start slow don't set any timer try to understand keep reading keep reading keep reading then once you practiced and you are set to start a timer then you start keeping the timer okay finally we are done with part a in fact part a is easiest part in reading and coming to part b you know what part b is easier than part a how let's move into the tips so part b try to complete within 6 to 8 minutes so you are going to get more couple of minutes for part c to crack it so what are the skills you need to crack for part b main thing read for main ideas the overall message or point of an extract extract first you get to know the main idea and the purpose of the paragraph why it is written and the detail uh, what are the important information within a text and in part b it is going to be factual data or a policies company policies manuals or an evidence so you don't need to think about authors what author is thinking about that one no here author never comes so be relaxed from the authors that nightmare author in part b you are going to get a company policies or evidence whatever it is and you are going to get two types of question one is short answer question for example what was the aim of the study described in this para it is short answer you will feel bit easy and the second type of question is sentence completion question for example the memo says failure to screen a patient for malnutrition may result in so it is a sentence sentence completion question here most of the candidates struggle to answer to get the answer from the paragraph don't worry i will try to give the strategies which will help to clear part b the first strategy is understand the question it has key information to help you choose correct answers but you need to read carefully read the question two times or three times read the questions each and every word each and every word has its own meaning try to understand the questions first carefully then try to look for the answer and the strategy number 2 is understand the option after reading the question what i used to do is i never goes to read options after reading the question i directly jump into the paragraph read the paragraph two times or one time and then go to the option answer because if i read the question and the option then if i jump into the paragraph it will try to make me confused by thinking it can be option a or b or c so so i never let that options to confuse me while reading the paragraph read the question understand the question two to three times then jump into the paragraph read it one time then go to the option you will 80% you will get the answer if you don't get then again you read the paragraph then compare the option answers and the one of the best op method to crack part b and c is elimination method so in part b you are going to get three multiple choice question you will feel like one option c is never going to be the answer then eliminate that one and you will be having doubt between like 50 50 <laughs> kaun banega karodpati option a or b then try to match 
that option a with that paragraph and option b with that paragraph which one will give you the exact meaning to that paragraph then choose that one tick it right get into the next question so each uh, in part b each question is individual so it is not interconnected between question number one to question number second so one question you complete you got the answer tick it if you don't get the answer also remember to leave that question and to come back later if you are a forgetful man if you can't think to come back then take the option which is correct for yourself because something is better than nothing ticking some answer is better than skipping that question so mark the answer go to the next question so it will save you time for the next question you might get the next question skip on getting right 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 so you don't waste the time and you don't get frustration by yourself by wasting so much of time um okay here are some of the example question i'm going to show you pass the screen and try to read the question and the paragraph and try to answer and comment down your answer now i am going to explain that answer in the question when seeking consent for a post mortem examination it is necessary to understand the question now go to the option answer option a give a valid reason for conducting it option b allow all relatives the opportunity to decline it and option c only raise the subject after death as occurred so we'll go from the option c only raise the subject after death has occurred so now you can see in that last third line as there is no need to wait until the patient has died so it means option c is wrong so eliminate that option c we'll go on to the option b allow all relatives the opportunity to decline it can you see is there any line match that paragraph or the option is there anything they mention allow all the relatives the opportunity to decline it no there is no point but in the last line it mentioned many relatives are prepared, more prepared for consenting procedure means before the patient has died if a consultant go to the relatives and talk do you need post mortem uh, and all they will get time to think whether they need to do the examination or not so it says that many it in that context they never said allow all relatives the opportunity to decline it so if we eliminate option c and b what's the answer option a give a valid reason for conducting it if you are going to read the second line the person consenting will need an explanation of the reasons for the post mortem examination and what it achieves what it hopes to achieve it says the person consenting will need an explanation will need an explanation means need to give a valid reason for conducting it so the final answer is option a and what are the test tips i can give strategy 1 understand the question strategy 2 understand the option and my method is elimination method and strategy 3 is maintain concentration to maintain concentration you need to read a lot you need to practice a lot you need to hard work and strategy 4 move on all multiple choice questions are independent so move if you don't get the answer in the part b first question move on to the next question and don't forget to come back and don't forget that taking some option is better than skipping that whole answers and strategy 5 is keep moving forward the good thing in hoid is there is no negative marking so guess choose option rather than skipping a question and the final strategy is read 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 and build stamina for long time reading if you are not used to reading for a long time when you are reading you will stress your eyes will be strained and your brain will be like oh, leave it man i'm going to fail you will, your brain will start telling you you are going to fail leave it so never let your brain to say that so get used to yourself reading for a long time and understand try to read manufacturer papers pamphlets or some example this food products 
try to read whatever it is there you will get many things while you are going you can see the banners read everything try to find the words try to get yourself used to the exam conditions we'll go to part c finally we came to part c reading the most difficult part for candidates but in other case it is also easier part in part c only when you understand the author okay reading between lines in academic writing author does not use exact word like he may never use like i think this is the case or i believe or it is in my opinion he use the language he choose in which language he wants to convey the message he will use that word so ask yourself what opinion does writer want me to have on this topic start thinking critically not literally or oh, maybe he said this one no start thinking critically you need to read critically each and every word understand the paragraph then you are going to get the answer skimming doesn't doesn't work in part c scanning doesn't work in part c only you need to understand the paragraph meaning pur- purpose main idea and the details then you are going to get the answer first thing try to understand the author which language he is using whether he is using direct language or an academic language and the other thing is whether the author is positive towards this topic whether he has positive attitude or negative or neutral attitude towards a subject if you understand the main context about the author then you it is it is going to be easier for you to crack part c in part b you are going to get one question three multiple choice question in part c you are going to get four multiple choice question so it will make you little bit trickier than we are to <laughs> eliminate the options and you are going to get 45 minutes for part b and c if you are going to complete part b in 8 minutes then you are going to get 37 minutes in part c and when you are whenever you are practicing try to keep 5 minutes lesser to figure out the answer i'm going to display some of the text from the part c how it is going to be you can pass the screen and you can go through it understanding the para and answering the question another form is lexical form of question that is your vocabulary and uh, another form is reference word what does it refer this word in that paragraph i will display the questions paragraph so don't worry you are going to get eight questions in one extract and another eight questions in second extract and what are the test tips there are here are four tips to succeed in part c read with purpose don't read the old text first instead instead start with the first question and read only to find answer to it before even look into the options a to d you should try to answer the questions in your mind mm-hmm. this is what i said once you get the paper take the paper don't try to go go through the paragraph directly jump into the questions read the first question go to the first paragraph read the paragraph then come to the options then try to think which are the answers which is uh, suitable for this paragraph and do the elimination method what at minimum you can eliminate two options then there will be two tricky options to select for the first paragraph which is the answer then read it again the paragraph then select the answer then move on to the second question don't try to take so much time for one questions if you don't get try to move on and then come back later and read all answer options carefully many many times many candidates what they are doing is they are they are assuming the word or meaning like in part c read each and every single word in question and in answer option very seriously do not miss any single word and third tip is don't rush skimming and scanning will not help you in part c as i said before the questions clearly direct you to the relevant place in the text and come in order fourth tip is manage your time you need to read slowly enough to understand but you also need to watch the clock so that you don't spend too much time on one question 
and preparation recommendation is always build your stamina build your vocabulary read with enthusiasm with energy and read more okay let's see part c one of the question pass the screen read the question read the paragraph then try to answer the option comment on your answer and i will discuss the answer which is right and which is wrong okay first understand the question what is the writer's reaction to professor winston's strategy think what writer is having reaction what the writer is having attitude towards a professor winston strategy so you got that context now understand whether a writer is in positive towards a uh, subject or negative or neutral so let's move on to the option d e is disappointed by the narrowness of its focus if anybody selected option d can you please see is there any disappointment in the writer's opinion or is there any narrowness of its focus writer is not disappointed by the narrowness of its focus he never mentioned it so eliminate option d let's go on to the option c he worries about the implications it may have again he never worried about the outcomes about the professor winston strategy so we cancel option c and option b he is surprised by the theory it is based on no the writer is neither worried nor surprised by the theory it is based on a he approves of the idea behind it so you can ask me where does he said option a when did he approve the idea behind it so we move on to the answer it says the third line many hard working and gifted students may feel aggrieved by his approach aggrieved means grief the students are going to feel bad hard working students or gifted students so they are going to feel sad about professor winston's strategy and the next word the but but is very important <laughs> but it is refreshing to see public acknowledgement that recruitment strategies must assess more than just academic ability so writer is saying that first in that line writer was negative he was in a negative statement hard working and gifted students may feel sad by his approach but it is refreshing but it is refreshing means he is going to the positive side from negative to positive side not just academic features is going to help to get a promising future doctors we also need to consider holistic application system so you got the answer for this question so try to eliminate the option that is the best thing you can do then try to see the meaning of that option in that paragraph and then at last you will get the by product answer going to choose that one and complete your reading that's it